to Saxcasts Breaking Down the Riffs Part 7. Um, this week's uh, tutorial is going to be based on a really cool YouTube clip which you need to go check out if you're a sax player because the quantity of incredible players for inspiration and transcription purposes will just blow your mind. So if you check out YouTube and search for sax.co.uk, it's the World Saxophone Collaboration 2020 because obviously a lot of us musicians are stuck not being able to go out and gig, so um, this is what they did. And this lick um, is thanks to Ollie Howe. It's the riff that kind of is the, the head, so to speak. So all the other performers play all their improvisation with this kind of gap between. So um, I'll play it again for you, a little bit slower. And then it can it kind of continues and it goes through a bit more, but that's the basic gist of it. Which I think is really cool. So the scale we're going to need is essentially E pentatonic. So that's E G A B D E. And you can go higher up to the second octave if you want and back down. So that's going to give you a set of notes and similar to last week's and the week before, uh, we're kind of building in a little bit of chromaticism, um, so hopefully you'll quite like that because it's it makes your playing hopefully a little bit more um, colourful than just using pentatonic and blue scales all the time. Okay, so the first note we're going to start on is this one. Here's your pentatonic. That's the note that you want. Hopefully you can work out it's a round in the middle and it's a B, okay? So the first part of the shape I'm going to do is this. Hopefully you can work out that it's ascending, going up. And previously in the episode from last time, episode six, uh, we're working up chromatically. So if you're not sure how to do that, it's B, then C, C sharp, and then D. Okay, so that's our first little bit done. And I'm not tonguing any of this, or else it'd be a bit, which would sound a bit corny. So slur that bit. So that's kind of like section one. The next bit is uh, very pentatonic y, so I'm going to play the next section a little bit slower for you, see if you can break it down at home. Uh, as previously, as well, if you want to pause and just pick this up in your own time, uh, please go for that. This one is a little bit trickier, so if you need a bit more help breaking it down uh, with my steps, that's fine too. Okay, so the next bit goes. And here's our E pentatonic for reference. So hopefully you can sort of have a think about what that might be. So here's your riff again. So we're starting on G and then it's just pentatonic going up. G, A, B, and then going down, A, G, and then to the E. So it's going up and then down again. So let's add that. So we've got a chromatic bit and then this pentatonic. Okay. And then we've got the third chunk to do. So this is the third bit. So there's definitely a little bit of a crunchy note going on there. Can you hear that it's all going down, it's descending? So that's going to give you a little bit of a head start. So I'm going to give you the start note for the third bit. And here's your pentatonic again. So hopefully you can figure out that's an A. And descending down your pentatonic is going to give you a good start point for those first three notes. And then another pentatonic note going further down which will give you D and then C sharp okay which is going to give you a nice little bit of a, a clashy sort of feel so if I put that one together for you hopefully you can do that so that's our three little chunks let's put that all together so it goes and it's all very rhythmic like that. There's no held notes or short notes. If you want, by the way, guys, um, I thought of this and I've never mentioned it on previous videos, is to write it down. That's how I transcribe. So when I'm working through transcription, what I'm doing is kind of working out 
little bits of notes and then penning it down, checking it, playing it back. And also, um, you might find this really useful. On YouTube, you can slow things down. If you press on the three dots and you go for options, you can slow down, which allows you to double check with your ear. And this is a really fast lick. So um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna slow this down so that it's at um, 75%. So it shouldn't be too crazy. If you feel that it's too fast at that, you could always do it at 50%. Uh, I think it's one minute 17 after the first soloist uh, is where you'll hear the horn riff at full speed. So if you want to at home, what you could do is use the little basic that I've given you to then see if you can work out the bridge bits because it's four phrases, slightly different at the ending. Uh, if not, I could give you that on the next episode. Just comment below. Um, as ever, please like and uh, comment. It really does help. Give me feedback to help you guys out with another session. So I'm going to use the three dots and I'm going to change it to 75%, 118. <laughs> held long bits going on there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to play it really steady we're going to go um crotchet equals 60 which is bob reynolds kind of like mantra to do things really steady and i've fed this um e minor chord into um the app that i've been using previously um which i'm not going to click off now because if i do it'll all go wrong uh, but this is just on a slow jazz funk so it sounds like this it's really steady, it's going to completely change the flavour, but it means we can go through it, okay? So we can go one. Okay. One. And da 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 You can speed it up. Let's do the same thing and let's do it at 75. So this uh, same place, see if I can get it fairly close, there we go. And if you're really crazy, you can have a go at full speed, which is pretty tricky. <laughs> but let's give it a go. And it would really help if my headphone wire wasn't in the way. I'll have to pull it back a little bit more. So hope you like that. If you want 
to maybe think about um, asking for breaking down any of these particular soloists, say like, I don't know, 10 minutes and 20, what's this guy doing here? I can do that for you. Um, or you could have a go at doing it yourself, slowing it down, thinking in E minor. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I just thought it was something really cool to have a look at this week and obviously really relevant with all the kind of uh, lockdown scenario that everyone's trying to sort of show their skills and show that we're still out here. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And as ever, happy Saxon. All right, bye. Oh, 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 oh,